So we have two types of cousins, explicit cousin and implicit cousin. So when we talk about implicit cousin, implicit cousin is already predefined one that is uh, already defined in Oracle database. You cannot do any operations. The programmer cannot do any operations on implicit cousin. So the explicit cousin is created by programmer, that is Oracle BLS SQL developer. So this explicit cousin, so whenever a SQL statement is written in single row, that time it can be called as an implicit cousin. When it is going to return more than one row, that can be called as an explicit cousin. So, uh, generally, like, you know, cousin has the capability of holding multiple records, but it, it can process single row at a time. Okay. Okay. Yep. What happens if a procedure that update a column of a table X is called in a database figure of the same table? Uh, I did not get your question, sorry. What happens if a procedure that update a column of a table Y is called in a database figure of the same table? Yes. Your question, is not, uh, your question is not clear to me. So, you are updating a table in a inside a procedure and trigger, uh, it's, it's not clear, sorry. What happens if a procedure that update a column of okay. a table like X is called in a database figure of the same table, of the same table? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, of course, the trigger will be fired. So, when you are trying to uh, update a table inside a procedure, the trigger will be fired on that particular procedure. Sorry, on that particular table. Okay. So, if you are restricting to do not do any updating operation that on that particular table, simply the trigger will show whatever the message that you have written inside a trigger that will be shown to the user. Okay. Yeah. So, if you have given before or after, so it will uh, give the message accordingly. So, when you are updating a particular table inside a procedure, so while doing that, the trigger will automatically be fired and then it will show you the corresponding message. What the what type of message? So, whatever you are determining inside the trigger. So, see for example, you, are, you said you are updating a table, right? So, if I give like... Yeah, sure. Just a minute. Yeah. Earlier you told that mutation table up. So, what is the difference between this type of uh, question I asked and uh, what is the difference between mutation table error, what I earlier told? Yes, yes, yes. So, mutating table, when the trigger is already in use, yes, it sounds similar. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Correct. I'm going to ask you. Yeah. <laughs> this is the same, right? Mutating table as well. Yes, yes. Of course. Yeah. What is Sega exceptions in it? Uh, pragma exception in it. Yes. Oh, exception, uh, pragma, that is what, uh, by using this pragma, you can do all these things. Uh, I haven't involved much in doing this, uh, using this pragma autonomous. Pragma exception unit is asking, right? Yes, yes. Uh, sorry, I haven't worked on it. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. What is rise application is? Sorry? Rise application is? Rise application error. Error. Okay. Uh, this is used while uh, doing this exception handling. So, by using this rise application error, we can rise the user defined exception. Okay. Yes. So, we have rise and also rise application error. Two things in Oracle database to invoke the user defined exception. User defined exception. Okay. User defined exception, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so this one okay. Okay, you are working exception also, right? 
Sorry? You want to know that you are working exceptions or not? Exceptions? Yeah. Yes, I am working. Okay. What is an exception? Yes. Uh, exception is an abnormal condition that occurs at runtime. Okay. So, in exceptions, we have two types. Predefined or system defined exceptions and yoga defined exceptions. Okay. So, this all predefined or system defined exceptions is already existing in Oracle database. That is, those are predefined things. So, this user defined exceptions are created by users. That means, PL SQL developer. We can create a user defined exception in what way that we want. Okay, I know. But I want to know that what is a predefined exception. Give me some examples. Yeah, no data sounds, no value sounds. Okay. Uh, cover is empty. Okay. Uh, pro program uh, program error, program error, table space error. Like we have so many existing predefined exceptions in Oracle database. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is the difference in Barker and Barker 2? Sorry, what is that? What is the reason of Varkad and Varkad 2? Varkad and Varkad 2? Yes. Yes. So, uh, obviously the size of the Varkad and Varkad 2 will differ. So, Varkad 2 will have more than Varkad. Okay. And one more thing is like, you know, uh, whatever the length that you are going to define in Varkad, so see for example, if I am defining Varkad as 8 and Varkad 2 as Eight. So both I am defining as eight eight, but I am going to store only the length of a variable with sorry the length of a value with four digit. So what will happen in our case, you know? So it will take only sorry it will take entire eight digit space. But whereas come to our case two, it will take only first four digits. That means whatever the value that you are going to define inside that particular variable, or whatever is going to store, it will consider only that particular length. It will not take uh, remaining thing. It will see the space. Okay, okay. But what, what about the null? Null? Null value. Yes. It, it won't take any space. No, no. In the Varkad, I want to know what about the, what about the space and not null in the Varkad 2. Yeah, we can store null values in Varkad 2 data type. Varkad 2 variable does not uh, support, uh, means, uh, except the null value, right? Varkad 2... Varkar 2 will support both numeric as well as uh, characters. Null, mm -hmm. null, I know. Null, null can be only defined on numeric values. That means number. On number data we can store null or zero. In Varkar 2 we can have either spaces or uh, this half on numeric. So what does it mean null value? So null... Do you want me to explain about what is null? No, no, I am asking for you. you are, uh, I am asking question is do you want the difference between worker and worker too, right? Yes. So, okay. okay. Then I am uh, asking you what the um, uh, occupy space for null in the worker, what the sp occupy space for null in worker too? Yes. By default, in worker it will take storage space for null. But in Varkar 2, it won't take anything. That would be zero in Varkar 2. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's it for my side. Uh, Priya? Yeah. Um, see, actually, my question is like you are into PLS level development. Yes, correct. Uh, will you be interested, what, what is your interest? Is that with Taylor Civil Development or will you be okay with this production support? Yeah, that is what, uh, here the thing that I am doing is that, you know, both development and enhancement, even I do support production projects. So, I am interested for anything. But that should be related to RTP list here. Okay, that's my next next question to you, actually. Yes, please. Actually, we work with an ERP called IFS. Yes. It is with IFS ERP, where we work on replication concept and also the functionals, SEM and maintenance functionals. Okay. So will you be 
interested in getting into ERP? Yes, of course. You will not have any issues, right? Yes, of course. Uh, the basic language, the, the ISS has been developed using TLS Clover. Yes. Okay, since because it, it is a production support project, one of our seven support projects. Yes. We analyze each and every issue whenever we receive in replication of data from one system to the other. Other system, yes. That is what I do here also. I do know okay. all those things, yeah. Fine. So this is now it is going to be with ERP. You, you, you will get a startup with ERP. Will you be interested in getting into ERP? Yeah, of course. I am interested. Okay. Yeah. But down the line, you will be offered with uh, like getting certification with ISS ERP. Oh, that really sounds good. Okay. And also based on your interest and progress, you you can even learn the technical configuration and uh, the, the customization part of ERP. Okay. If, you are, if you have knowledge in .NET, you will be able to get into development of ERP also. Yes. This is going to be your career. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Ian, I am looking you. forward to any of my skills. It sounds uh, very... Similar that what I am expecting to be into. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Obviously, you should look for the next level. Okay. Yes. This is going to be next progress in your career. Career, yes. Right? Yes. Okay. So, like, uh, if everything goes good, like, could I have your notice period? I can join in one week. What, what's the reason? Are you in notice period? Yes. Okay. So, like, do you hold any other offer? Yeah, I'm holding it, but uh, I'm not interested to go into those companies. Actually, I have two offers in hand. Okay, okay. Yeah. Fine enough. Um, fine. Like, um, do you have any questions? Like, nothing from my side. Uh, I don't have any questions. Whatever you have explained, is everything clear for me? Sure. Thanks for it. And uh, yeah, like for the next level, I will keep in touch with you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you both. Bye. Bye bye.